you waiting, huh? Cervantes de Leon was a pirate captain who struck fear in the hearts of all who sailed the Atlantic. The moment he laid hands on Soul Edge, its overwhelming power transformed him into a terrible fiend. However, two great powers opposed him, the holy warrior Sofitia, blessed by the gods, and Taki, a demon-hunting ninja. Together they defeated Cervantes, destroying part of the sword in the process. Consumed in Hellfire, Cervantes' body was reduced to ash. Though it appeared his ambitions had thus come to an end, it was not to be. over there again looks kind of difficult to approach what's he doing just staring at that shipwreck hey I'd steer clear of him if I were you pirates used to hang out around there it's got quite a history so it's a pirate ship ah <gasps> longest time I have been lost in thought. I no longer know who I am. I've forgotten something important. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I never thought for a moment you'd actually be here, Captain. Er, I mean, Captain Cervantes. Ah. Right. That's my name. Cervantes. What do you mean? The Adrian? The Black Tail Inn? Ring any bells? Cut the small talk! Sounds like you're asking for a fight. Well... Here I am! You do know how to use that sword, don't ya? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, not so 
fast! Not so fast! Not so fast! Yes, what? <laughs> Get ready! Not so fast! Not so fast! Not so fast! Sink! Take this! Not so fast! Not so fast! Captain Cervantes. Steal and then murder. N -n -n no, please! Okay, now this next question is real important. Was I the type of guy to show benevolence towards someone begging for their life? Soul Edge are buried in my flesh. The blade, when it shattered, its power is the only reason I'm not a pile of ash right now. Still, it's not enough! This power, this weapon, neither compare to when Soul Edge belonged to me! Soul Edge. I'll make you mine again, no matter what it takes! There were two. One must still remain. I feel it. Soul Edge exists, and it's not far. But even if I get my hands on it, none of it will matter if I'm reduced to a mere puppet again. I shall become Soul Edge's master. To do that, I need much more power. Battle 2 Fight! Silence! Give me! 
souls I claim, the more my power returns. Ah, but it's not enough. I need more than worthless fools. I feel as though I'm forgetting something important. My memory has yet to fully return. There's something I'm missing. I was wondering who'd dare pick a fight with us. You really come here alone? What? Want to get your hands on our plunder? Your plunder means nothing. I came for your souls. souls, but nothing more. I need some even finer. Something's coming back to me. As my 
power returns. So do these blasted memories. Damn this! Gods who watch over that girl are worshipped at a temple around here. Is that what my senses are telling me? Speak! Who are you? Judging by your arms and armor, you're a guardian, aren't you? Be gone, wretch, before you defile this sanctuary! <laughs> While I'm here, I may as well help myself. Chance. Still, without Soul Edge. Ah! What is happening? Ah. Soul Edge. This pain that courses through me. It's the same pain I felt when Soul Edge was shattered. Could it be? I remember. Yes, yes. The child of the cursed sword. A spare vessel. And I did something. What was it? Empty. Soul Edge was here. Of that I'm certain. This remaining fragment. There is no doubt it belongs to Soul Edge. Even a single fragment contains so much power. I remember everything. The child of the cursed sword. My daughter was to be used as a spare vessel for Soul Edge. How much worth must such a fine soul have? If I could fuse the power of the shard with her soul, then perhaps Soul Edge would be reborn. Hmm. Someone approaches. 
Could it be? My child in the flesh? <laughs> what fortuitous timing! I never thought you'd soil this place with your presence. <laughs> it's been too long, O oh daughter of mine. It has, but I'm not here to catch up. I'm here to send you back to hell! Disappointment. I thought you said you were going to send me back to hell. Your weak soul is of no value to me. Gah! Mark my words, I shall bury you myself. <laughs> I'll let you live for now. I'll be waiting for you, my dear daughter. Come find me when you're stronger, when your soul matches your words. Only then will I claim it and resurrect Soul Edge. When Soul Edge is mine again, the great pirate Captain Cervantes will be back with a vengeance. 
The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. Dojang run by my father. Three years ago, I went on a quest for Soul Edge, known as the Sword of Salvation, to protect my land. My quest went pretty well for a time, but then Huang brought me home. I guess it was wrong of me to run off without telling my father and all. He said I must redo all my training, and forced me back into the rigid life I tried to escape. But the truth is, that was the least of my problems. Lady Mina, would you please marry me? You again? Did my father tell you to do this? Stop! I'd be a far better husband than you! <sighs> if both of you can beat me, I'll think about it. How does that sound? What? Then count us in too! Yeah, and us too! Fine. Just come at me all at once! wonder hardly anyone showed up today. I was worried that we'd lost all our students. That day, I was surprised to see Huang home for the first time in a long while. Oh, Huang's my father's best student, and kind of like a mix between my mentor and my big brother. He was called a hero, and the country entrusted him with finding Soul Edge, the Sword of Salvation. My father also wanted me to marry him. Really, though, I can't believe you're already old enough to think about marriage. I'm not! Those guys were just joking because Father keeps talking about wanting a son-in-law to take over the Dojang. 
Oh, really? I've never heard him talk about that. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I told him not... Mm. So this is where you've been, Huang. Don't you think it's about time? Yes, Master. I'm sorry I can't stay longer. Mina, I'm sorry I can't tell you more, but I'm returning to the army. We can protect our homeland with our own hands, even without the Sword of Salvation. And that was that. Wong re-entered the military, and now continues to fight for his country. Me, on the other hand, they wouldn't allow me to join the army because I'm a woman. But then what am I supposed to do? I too want to protect our homeland. When you said we, Huang, did that include me too? Mina, that's not up to me. Do you understand what I mean? So I can't protect our land with you because I'm a woman or because I'm not strong enough? Just hurry up and see him off, silly girl! Oh, Mina, I was looking all over for you. Did you come to humiliate me too? What are you talking about? I'm weak and clumsy, so I respect how strong and bright you always are, Mina. Then you must be really disappointed in me now. Uh, no, of course not. Uh, uh, hey, I know. How about marrying me? Wait, what? Ugh. I'll make Wong and Father admit I'm just as capable as them, no matter what it takes! Now that I think about it, Chul Huan was probably just trying to cheer me up. Next time I see him, I must be nicer. If there ever is a next time. I couldn't think straight. Ivy, that swordswoman who was also searching for Soul Edge. She was cool, collected, and so mature. She treated me like a child, so I lost my temper and challenged her. No! I'm not done yet! More fighting will only end in the same result. You're too weak. Farewell. Hey! Get back here! Well, that was riveting. Thanks for the entertainment. Ugh. But that should teach you not to pick fights with people like that again. I'm sure you'll get a lot stronger in the future. You're still young, after all. Hey! Don't treat me like a child! Didn't I just tell you to think more carefully about who you pick a fight with? You also said I could get stronger! Can you teach me how to fight? We can use clubs or whatever, I don't care! That was the first time I met Kong Shu Chung, my master. I needed to get stronger if I wanted to find Soul Edge. So, I focused all my energies on forcing him to become my teacher.
Looks like you're getting the hang of it. <sighs> well, yeah, because you finally started teaching me for real. I'm just giving you a simplified version, you know? <sighs> so, wanna spar again today? Yeah, I'm tired of losing to a drunk. you made this much progress in just one year. I guess I'll go buy some booze so we can celebrate your victory. More drinking? Your body will give out one of these days. You always nag me about that. What are you, my daughter? My father's far more hardworking and accomplished than you. Aren't your family worried about you? Perhaps a wife or a daughter? After all, I often hear you mumbling in your sleep. You're our treasure, Shanglen. Stuff like that. Huh? You've been hearing things. Now get back to your training. Fine, fine. Off you go. But Master never came back. I've no right to teach you proper rod techniques. You need to carve your own fate. That was all he left me, scrawled in a note. I can't believe he kept me waiting all night. It made me pretty mad. Thank you.